Well, my friends, we have done it. It has happened, and you're going to see it. Mission accomplished. Give you a few moments, go out, and if you're of age, pour yourself a drink, sit back, and we're going to enjoy this one. I'm drinking ice. <laughs> Costco tequila, which is smooth as a baby's butt, and making a margarita. No salt. Don't need salt. This isn't going to be a normal pickup video. I have other pickups. I have some good stuff sitting about two feet behind this camera that I could show you right now. Awesome things. We'll save that for the next one, because this one deserves all the attention. This one deserves the main event. And even though that stuff is great, it's going to pale in comparison to what is in this box. Right there. Cover up. I didn't, I didn't black out my name or the sender's name, so... Uh, you know, I can just reminisce for a minute about this journey. <laughs> a long journey of two or three months. <laughs> this wasn't as difficult as I imagined it was going to be. Uh, but um, not a lot of people watch my videos. I understand that. Like maybe 20 or 25 views each. Maybe. So out of that, I'm guessing maybe five of you watch them all. So you people know especially that Operation Acquire Turbo Graphics has been going on now for the majority of the summer. I had no idea it would culminate in mid-July, July 13th. This kind of started when, uh, you know, I was kind of realizing the garage sale season was pretty good. And uh, what I was doing is I was taking my duplicates, you know, NESs and games, Super Nintendo games, N64 games. I was taking them to the local retro shop and mostly getting cash. Uh, I mean, I think I made an IRA contribution out of cash selling duplicates to the retro game shop. And then uh, it got to a point where I kind of realized that while I'm still taking stuff to the retro game shop, and that's where some of this awesome stuff behind the camera that I'll show you on the next video came from, that some of the stuff I can go ahead and get top value for. I could go get top value for it all, but I don't want to spend you know a whole lot of time eBaying every single thing, individually selling everything that is a duplicate for me every week that I, I spend way too much time but when i got my first copy a smash bros melee disc only i was like you know let's go see because i know a disc only he's probably going to want to give me maybe max 20 bucks probably not even that and i just took a look and on ebay disc only we're still going for around 50 dollars i said well this is easy to ship you know it's not going to take any effort at all for me to ship this out and it sold in a matter of minutes of me putting up the listing. And then I found another one of those, case and disc only. Then I found another one, case and disc only, that were 50 bucks a pop. And then I found some other things, some Wii games, that I just built up PayPal credit. Now, initially, I wanted to build up the PayPal credit to fill in uh, Nintendo games, or, or Super Nintendo games, that I, I haven't found yet, the garage sales. And I did that. If you go back and watch a video about a month or so ago, I bought Jackal and G.I. Joe, The Atlantis Factor, and a couple other games straight off eBay using some of this credit. But then it kept going and going. And then I learned that when I would find extra Blu-rays or DVDs or CDs and I would take to Hastings 
in their buyback program, which has since been suspended because of their bankruptcy, unfortunately, which is going to put a big damper on Operation Acquire More Turbo Graphics. <laughs> Damn it! But uh, I, I, like like all those CDs I got in that big box of the with the NES and the games that the guy pulled out of the shed. The guy said you can take sixty dollars, sixty six cents cash, or eighty five dollars in credit. I'm like, give me the cash. I'll put the cash in my pocket. Little did I know that right behind me there was a rack of gift cards and eBay gift cards were on there. I could have had $85 in eBay gift cards. But I wasn't on Operation Acquire Turbo Graphics yet. But as the season just continued and I was finding awesome NES games and, you know, that, that were duplicates to me that basically meant flip them for stuff I didn't have, it came to a point where I was like, Let's um, let's go for something. Let's go for something that at the beginning of the summer was a pipe dream. Was was a, a fantasy. And uh, I said, let's do, let's go get a Turbo Graphics. Let's go get something, you know, a copy of Jackal or G.I. Joe the Atlantis Factor or any of those NES games I picked up off of, of Craigslist. And I want to pick up more. I want to get the Ninja Gaiden games. I want to get the Adventure Island games. But there's a much bigger chance I'm going to find Ninja Gaiden at a garage sale in the next two or three months as garage sales wind down here in Montana than finding this Turbo Graphics. Spoiler, this Turbo Graphics. And uh, so let's use that for something I'm probably not going to find. And of course, along the way of Operation Acquire, a system I never owned, we got. We got the Saturn, which I never owned. And I've been picking up some good Saturn games. I got some more on the way, but uh, I, I think I've showed everyone that I've got so far. You know, the Night Warriors, Dark Soccer's Revenge, Virtual Cop I had from like years ago, but. So I got that. And then I got, and this was from the last pickup video, and I didn't do it justice because that video was running so long. I got the Master System. So here I am just, just knocking off consoles I never owned. I never, I didn't even, I didn't even, a Master System, I'm like, I, I don't even want to own it. Because I'll never find it. Who owned a Master System back in the day? How's, how am I going to find that unless I go out and search it? Unless I specifically go and say, I'm buying a Master System. And then it comes on. I get a call one night from, from a, a fellow collector and asks if I want to trade do a trade and uh, he owed me in a trade and I got it I got a master system I mean I, w w what should I start next Operation Neo Geo <laughs> that, that, that's the dream huh wouldn't that be something Op especially I, I watch Pat the NES Punk I'm sure the, the 20 people who watch these videos are gonna watch Pat the NES Punk too his last flea market man is $75 Neo Geo. Fuck you. <laughs> $75 Neo Geo. Kiss my ass. I immediately went on eBay. I'm like, where are these fucking things now? They're still around $1,100. Oh my god. So anyway, I did not anticipate Operation Turbo Graphics uh, being accomplished, mission accomplished, by July 13th. I thought it definitely lasts the summer I'd be stretching it. But the truth is, um, I won an auction, ironically from a guy in Whitefish, Montana. I won a, a, a Turbo Graphics auction from a guy in Montana. Um, it's about a six hour drive away from me. And I almost asked him if I could just meet him somewhere and save on the $30 shipping he charged. But uh, I won the auction at $152.50. Which, when I break into this, is going to be an amazing deal. Because turbos with all the hookups are around 80 to 9 to 100, I'd say. I see going from 100 105. Just the turbos itself. And then some of these games, like two of the games itself, add the value up over 150. But you throw in a $30 shipping. I, I think I, I still got a really good deal. Um, it's I, I was debating... Because I'd like to get a PC Engine um, Duo R, the Japanese system. That's probably going to be next. 
That way I can play Japanese Hue cards and all CD games. But as a start, as a start, this is awesome. So after 10 minutes of my rambling, let me get another huge gulp of this delicious margarita. Because we are in celebration mode today. So I had a day at work. I just got back home from work. And I, all day I've been waiting to fucking take this knife and open this box. But I had one particular customer that just, oh, fuck. I'm like, dampen my style, man. Just doing anything to piss me off and make this moment, this moment, diminish. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning right now. So let's just start. Do the sides. Right on top. Okay. Got lots of newspaper here. What a newspaper he used. Probably the Missoula or one out of Kalispell. The Mountain Trader. All right. He's got some bubbly wrap. I almost want to save this for any future. I'm just going to put it aside for right now. For any future shipments I do. Since I won't be able to get eBay gift cards from Hastings, although GameStop does eBay gift cards. But you're kind of in, in a bind there because GameStop is selling retro stuff too, and they've expanded the retro library to Saturn and other systems. Not to TurboGrafx yet, as far as I know. But that buddy who I got the Master System from, he picked up the Guy game, which there's a game that, you know, just for shits and giggles you want to have in your collection. Okay. Let's see, right off top here, get this more of this newspaper out. There's a turbo pad. <laughs> Let me just hold it for a second. <sighs> wow. I haven't held this. I think I played a demo unit in, there was a mall in Milledgeville, Georgia that had a department store attached. And uh, they had a Neo or a Turbo Graphics demo unit. Last time I think I've held this controller. I haven't seen one of these ever in the wild. I never had a friend who owned one. All right. What do we got here? That is the power cable, the power supply. So we've got a brick, and that's where it goes in the wall and into the unit. I'm so... <laughs> you know, I was almost mad at myself last night because I won this auction on Sunday night. And then last night, I was, you know, browsing some stuff on Amazon Prime Day. And I was watching the All-Star Game for some godforsaken reason. I'm not a fan of the All-Star Game. There's only one Cardinal playing in it anyway. Uh, and I, I, not, I just... I, it was too early in the year to hear Joe Buck. I'm going to hear Joe Buck plenty... Once Fox starts carrying big games and into the playoffs, and of course during football season. July is too early for Joe Buck. But uh, in all that mix, I had a, an auction watch of six TurboGrafx games. Uh, some shooters I wanted, and uh, a copy of Kadash, which is about a $100 game by itself, just even in the card. And the auction went for 152 free ship, and I would have I would have beat that. I would have bid higher than 152. But I was just, it was so I was really kind of looking at this box. I had it sitting here like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's just get it. There is the RF cable. Only coaxial for Turbo Graphics, a base unit. You can get AV out with the Turbo Booster, which is really expensive. Or if you get a modded Turbo Graphics. But I will stick with Coaxel. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh, oh. 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 
Oh, my, my upstairs neighbor's been vacuuming for 30 minutes. Her apartment's the same size as mine. Turbo Graphics 16. <laughs> there's, there's the back. First fucking thing I do is drop it. Thank God there's a chair here in front of me. But he put a little thank you note. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. This is just the back. If you don't know anything about the Turbo Graphics, this is where that Turbo Booster hooks up. It's also where the CD player hooks up. The CD adapter, Turbo Graphics, first system. Even before Sega uh, Genesis, first system to have a CD attachment. Um, not really recommended. They fail easily. That's why if I want to get into the CD games for the Turbo Graphics, it's better off finding a Turbo Duo that's had all the little conductors replaced and cleaned, or the PC Engine R out of Japan, which is going to be very pricey. I think the cheapest one I've seen complete with all the hookups is $300. Um, of course, you got to get it shipped from Japan. Well, there's very few U.S. sellers. If they are U.S. sellers, they're asking uh, you know, $300, 350 $400. But uh, here we go. That, so this is the Turbo Graphics. It will operate like this. Very small, lightweight system. Um, this just is just a cover for that back. Is what that is, and a lot of auctions for this on eBay do not have this. They're they're just offering this base unit. They've even lost the cover. So we got that. I don't know where he got this sticker. It's not. Uh, it was not there originally. He must have got it from somewhere else. It is peeling off, but it's actually a nice placement. It doesn't look bad on the unit. Inside the unit, we have a Hue card or turbo chip only. Bonk's Adventure. And that is, this is the cartridge. About the size of a credit card, a little bit thicker. And this is one of the games that uh, is uh, kind of sought after on the Turbo. Although most games are sought after. The only games you're going to find that are really cheap are sports games. And when I talk really cheap, you're still talking $10 at around the very like bottom end. Um, maybe... Maybe seven to twelve dollars for like you know baseball or hockey or basketball. Uh, Bonk's Adventure is their uh, mascot game. It's their Mario or Sonic. It's how they try to sell the system. Uh, Hugh Card only is going around twenty to thirty dollars by itself. But uh, uh, speaking of Bonk's Adventure, if you find it on the NES, you've got yourself you're holding gold in your hands. Just so you know. But the Hue card goes in here like such. Hue card is actually the Japanese name. In America, they try to call them turbo chips. But it still says, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, on the bottom right, Hue card. And maybe a little bit clearer there on the back, on the bottom right, Hue card. I don't think it says turbo chip anywhere. So anyway, uh, system itself... Around the Hue card area is a little dusty. I could probably take some little uh, canned air and blow that right out. Um, overall, this is an... I'll take the little... Dude, uh, I, I messaged a guy after I won the auction. I said, dude, I had no idea... I, I'm, I'm in Bozeman. I had no idea somebody up in Whitefish had a Turbo Graphics. He's like, I'm really... I'm, I hate getting rid of it. I need to get rid of it. I, I'm happy somebody in Montana won and that the system's staying in Montana. I hope you enjoy. And I will. Uh, very minor cosmetic scratches along the cover and along the unit. Once again, this needs a little dusting on the unit itself. Just a little white. Um, here's where the power supply goes. I'm not sure what channel three or four. Oh, that's where you choose what channel to put the TV on. That switch is way the fuck down there. I don't know how you get in there. You almost need a uh, like a little tiny screwdriver or something to flip that switch. Um, so that's where the antenna goes. Where does the power supply go? Okay, this is where the only one controller port. Uh, power switch right there. I have no idea where the... Uh, oh wait, 
No? Where the AC fits. Right there. So you can't play it with the cover on. Your AC is right here in this back thing. So you gotta take this off every time you wanna play it. That's probably why so many units are being sold without it because I can see how this gets lost. If you keep, you know, like most people did and even still do, I mean, I do, even with the modern systems that I barely ever play, PS4, Xbox One, Wii U behind me, they're plugged in all the time. It's not like I'm plugging them in, playing them, like, well, I'm done. I'll just plug it out and turn it off till tomorrow. So I can see how these get lost. All right. There's the unit. All right. So we saw Bonk's Adventure. That was the only game that was hue card only. Everything else came in a case. First one we have here is Keith Courage in Alpha Zone. This was the, at least at the beginning, the original pack-in. So this was their pack-in game, and as you see, the slot holds the card, and it pulls out very easily, and it comes in a little plastic holder, like a little credit card holder, and there's the Hue card for Keith Courage. Keith Courage, Keith Courage, Heath Courage! So that's the only one. I wish I had it for Bonk. I wish I had something to hold it in. That's all right. Uh, manual is just like any like PlayStation game. It's in. It's also doubles as a cover art. So there is the packing game. Uh, once it goes for fifteen to twenty, I'd say online. Now we have Victory Run. In case you're curious, there's no like there's no back art. These came in like long boxes. So inside the box that was maybe about this high and a little bit wider, so the thing would kind of sit in the middle. So you'd buy it, like think think like the PS1 long boxes. Not quite as big, a little bit wider. Alright, there's Victory Run. Uh, it doesn't have that little plastic holder, so he kind of put a little styrofoam in there to hold it down during shipping, which I appreciate. Packed very well. Speaking of uh, sports games, here... Oh, look! He gave me a couple extra Hue uh, card holders. That's awesome. That is awesome. So I do have something to put Bonk's Adventure in. This is TV Sports Hockey. One of those sports games. And there it is inside with the plastic cover and the little thing that holds it down. Now, here's Alien Crush. The Turbo Graphics has a interesting selection of pinball games. This is one of them. And like most games on Turbo Graphics, they're not cheap, even though they're pinball games. They're video game pinball games. Um, the sequel to this was Devil's Crush. There is another one called. Uh, Oh, shucks. I just saw it last night. I can't remember. It has a skull on the front. But pinball games. Shooters and pinball games. When I'm talking about shooters, I'm talking about the next game I'll show you. Uh, like space shooters. Games like R-Type, which I'm looking to get. Galaga. Um, especially in Japan. And especially if you have a CD uh, player. Like uh, the Turbo Duo. The CD Attachment. PC Engine Duo. Because the, the, the CD players on these are region free. You get a CD attachment for this or, or a Turbo Duo that has a CD player built in. It's region free. You can buy any CD game from any region and it will play. So that's why I kind of want to get a PC Duo R from Japan. That way I could play Japanese Hue cards. Because the Hue cards, the Japanese Hue cards are region locked and only play on Japanese systems. But the CDs, I can play it to CD from any region and play. Sort of like what this cart does with uh, the Saturn that I got in the last pickup video. This cart right here makes this Saturn region free. I could play Saturn games from any from any region. And I've got some ones from Japan on the way. 
because Japanese Saturn games are cheaper. And that's typically the case with Japanese uh, Turbo games and uh, C Turbo CD games. All right, final game. And this one... This one's a good one, especially if you like shooters. It's Blazing Lasers. Blazing Lasers. These are... I cannot ask for better shape. I don't see any cracks in the jewel cases at all. All of the cards, save for that one, have the covers, but I have two extra covers, one for Bonks and one for the one that didn't have the cover, so... But, uh, whoa, wait, what's this? Oh, Keith Courage fell out. I'm not keeping track. <laughs> Why did Keith Courage fall out? Damn you, Keith Courage, stay in there. But, uh, Blazing Lasers... Uh, if you want to get turbo graphics, uh, be a fan of these, like shooters, like space shooters. I'm not not even all over space. Like, maybe bullet hells. They're they kind of got their start here. There's not a whole lot of them, but there are some. Cute 'em ups. They are on here, like little you know, cutesy little characters. Oh uh, man, and that is is that it? What's in? Oh, you throw. What's this bag from? Super, super savers, super savers, sell for less. I don't, know, I don't know why you just tossed that little bag in. But, uh, yeah. So, six games. Five in the case, and Box Adventure by itself. System in really, like... Just a little cosmetic damage. I mean, what are you going to do? The, this was the worst selling system. Not a lot of people had it. And it was sold back in 89, I think is when it went on sale. 89, maybe early 1990. But, uh, thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, now, about a year or so ago, somebody over in the UK came up with something called the EverDrive for the Turbo Graphics, And it's basically a Hue card, such as this, that you put in an SD card, and you load it with Turbo Graphics ROMs, but you play it through the Turbo Graphics. So they're, they're not emulated games, per se. They're the actual games that you could buy for Turbo Graphics. And that thing runs between eighty to ninety dollars, and you could put every single Turbo Graphics chip game. And I don't think it's going to run the CD games, but even Japanese games. And I'm really debating doing that just to play the games, because building up a collection of Turbo Graphics is going to be uh, really hard and take a long time. Not that, I'm, that, not that that's going to. I don't want to stop. Oh, I got a, a never drive. I don't need to buy another Turbo Graphics game again. Not that I want to do that, but allow me to focus on spending some of the any other funds that I come across. I still have some eBay gift cards I got from Hastings to build up the Saturn collection and still get some awesome games for the Turbo Graphics while I'm building up and being able to get a PC Engine Duo from Japan, which is going to cost, like I said, at least three hundred dollars. And then you get some games on top of that. You're looking four to five hundred dollars. So. Um, just quick while how I won this, I'm not a veteran of eBay auctions. If I eBay, I try to buy it now, just get it. I don't want to fuck around with bidding wars and, you know, putting a bid in and then making sure that I remember or put in my calendar to check four days later as the auction's winding down. But this is an auction that I've been watching, that I was watching for about a week. And I saw people were bidding throughout the week, but it wasn't getting, it was staying sort of low so I put it in my calendar for Sunday night to go ahead and get in there and check it and I didn't put a bid in until that auction was down to about 20 seconds you know there's a couple of people bidding two or three times I put my first and last bid in with 20 seconds and I didn't even put like a high bid I put a bid that just barely beat the one that was there excuse me and uh I guess that's called sniping that's sniping an eBay auction, but um, that I, I, in my very limited experience of eBay auctions, that's the way to go. 
snipe that shit. Don't fucking put a bid in when it's got five days ago, six days ago, even three days ago, or two days ago. Just fucking snap that shit up. Just fucking make, you know, I put it in my phone's calendar. I don't write a note or nothing. I put right, you know, get like a reminder, like 10 minutes before it's done. Check that. So I go in there and check, like, okay, it's in an area I can do. Now, that, that's bit me in the ass because there have been times that I watched it and I put a bit in. And it went up $60, $70 in a span of 15 seconds. Luckily, I guess nobody else was really keeping an eye on this. Or whoever was sitting at that high bid decided that $150 was his, was his top dollar price. And when I came in at $152.50, which was just the automatic bid they put in for me, was just... I'm just really happy I got it. I'm disappointed I didn't get that lot of games last night because I would have paid... The price on that, but uh, I mean, huh. Operation Acquire Turbo Graphics, mission accomplished. I just, I never, never. I mean, I, I said before, I never thought I'd own a Saturn, and then I said I never thought I'd own a Sega Master System. Never, ever, fucking ever did I believe this would be in my collection. This would be in my hands. Playable to me. Never, ever, ever. And here I am holding it. And I think just some awesome garage sale finds. Some lucky garage sale finds. But I, 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 I put in some work. You know, I'm up very early on Saturdays. I'm checking the Craigslist throughout the day. If I see an ads pop up at 3 or 4 in the afternoon for like an afternoon, evening garage sale on Saturday or Sunday. I'm running over there and asking about video games. I drove over to Livingston, Montana, a 30-mile 30, 30 drive on the interstate just to hit one fucking garage sale in, in the fucking rain to find some SNES stuff. I, but really, now it's just infill. Like, if it, I'm not going to do Operation 3DO. I'm not going to do Operation Jaguar. If I get a chance to get those, I'll get them. But this is the, you know, this is the dream. Operation Neo Geo is a possibility if I get a couple raises at work and maybe hit the lottery. Not the Mega Millions. I don't need that. But if I hit one of like the $100,000 like jackpot or something, <laughs> Operation Neo Geo might be a go. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank those who do support me and who watch these videos. And uh, I'm very, I, I hope... Hope you are got ex as much excitement in watching it as I did sitting here taking it out of the box and holding it in my little, my big hands right now. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe if you wish. I hope you do. I'll uh, see you next time on the next pickup video, which just, like I said, judging by what's already two feet behind this camera, it's going to be a good one. So I will see you next time.